Dear friends, welcome to Know Thyself YouTube channel. Good morning. Hope you are all staying safe and keeping well. I sincerely thank all of you who have subscribed to this channel and follow the channel. If you find the contents of the videos uploaded in this channel useful, please subscribe to this channel and click the notification or the bell icon so that you can be notified when a video is uploaded. Kindly share the videos with others or in the internet. In today's episode of A Message to Manage Your Day, I would like to share some thoughts on the theme, Signs of a Divine Seeker. In 1895, Henry Van Dyke wrote the story of the fourth wise man called Attaban. He is not mentioned in the gospel because he missed the caravan and the other three wise men. He got to Bethlehem too late to see the king of the Jews, as Joseph and Mary had left the town with him by the time Ataban arrived. Ataban did make it on time to save one of the innocent children Herod ordered to kill by bribing a soldier. For 33 years, Ataban searched for the king of the Jews but did not find him. While searching for the king of the Jews, he fed the hungry, helped the poor, and reached out to anyone he found in need by selling the pearls he brought as gift to the king of the Jews. Then one day in Jerusalem, Ataban saw the king of the Jews being crucified. He himself died stuck by a stone during the earthquake that occurred as the king of the Jews died on the cross. As he was dying, he heard a voice saying, When you helped the least of my children, you helped me. Meet me in heaven. Attaban, the fourth wise man, is a true divine seeker. We find in him qualities and attitudes that characterize a seeker of the divine. Let us spell out some of them. First, a divine seeker replaces his original belief with a new spiritual vision and mission. Ataban, though did not give up seeking for the king of the Jews, he had given his life a wider spiritual vision and mission. While he looked for the king of the Jews for 33 years and found him only when he was crucified, his wider spiritual vision and mission helped him to be neither discouraged nor give up. Second, a divine seeker finds meaning in life by connecting the infinite he seeks but does not see with the finites he sees and lives with. Ataban, though did not find the king of the Jews he was seeking, he was able to find in the humans he helped the image of the infinite he was looking for. Third, a divine seeker hears the master's call but finds new ways to heed the call and follow the master. Ataban heard the call to look for the king of the Jews but he accepts the call and follows the master by helping those in need. Fourth, a divine seeker is sincere, light-hearted, not attached, not self-seeking, and lives guided by compassion and empathy. During the 33 years, Ataban was sincere in his search for the king of the Jews, but did not lose his head even when he did not find him and continued his mission with light-heartedness. Likewise, he was not attached and not self-seeking, but compassionate and empathetic towards those in need as he began selling the pearls he brought to give to the king of the Jews to help others, even though he knew that he will have nothing to offer to the king of the Jews when he finds him. Am I a true divine seeker in the context of my vocation in life? Do I have a spiritual vision and mission in life? Or am I guided by narrow-minded belief systems? Am I able to connect the infinite I seek 
but do not see with the finite humans I see. Am I able to see the humans as images of the divine I seek? Do I look for new and creative ways to follow the divine master's call in the context of my everyday life? Am I sincere, light-hearted, not attached, not self-seeking, compassionate and empathetic? Do I allow these attitudes to guide my everyday living? Dear friends, Guy Finley says, If we are moved to seek the divine, it's because the divine is calling us. You as a human being at your core have the touch of the divine. You are called to be a divine seeker, whatever is your vocation in life. Seek him and you will find him. And when you find him, your life will be transformed into divine likeness. May the divine who calls you to seek him help you to acquire those qualities that would facilitate you to seek and find him, thereby bring transformation in your life and in the life of those around you. This is my wish and prayer for you, dear friends. Thank you for watching this video. Stay blessed until we see you again with another video.